good morning everyone happy friday i hope you guys are doing great today welcome back to my channel it's your girl it's me lily i hope you guys um are having a great week i hope your week was fantastic i hope that you also have a great weekend but i am here today to talk about a certain topic and this is a very very serious topic so be sure to watch this video to the end because this is information that um we need to be educated on a little bit more and to make sure that we're spreading this information so the importance of life insurance is what i want to talk about and i know that we all know the importance importance of I know that we all know the importance of life insurance, right? We all know. But we often say we're going to get it, you know, we can't afford it right now, but we know we need it, right? So we're not fixing to go in 2022 doing this, y'all. We just not fin we are not fixing to do it. We have to learn how to invest in ourselves. Because what we don't really realize in that moment is that if something were to happen to us, the burden, the 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 stress, everything that we will be leaving for our families to have to, you know, try to come up with all this money because we did not initiate a policy, you know. And it's very important that we start looking into that, not only for ourselves, but for our families. They are going to be the ones that's going to um, be preparing things for you um, to put you to rest. And I know it's a very, very, very sensitive subject and no one really wants to discuss, um, you know, the the moment of knowing that you may lose this person or the thought of knowing that you won't have this person anymore i get it as hard as that conversation that it is it's still something that needs to be had as a family and just sit down with your family and you know stress the importance of knowing what's in place for you if something like this happens so we need to make sure that we are investing in ourselves to make sure that when that time does come, because we know that time is going to come and no one knows when that time is going to come. But you want to be prepared for that time so that your family can grieve in peace. So I know a lot of us um, and I'm currently in this situation myself where i just had to um you know get another policy because i had a policy with my job that i was at um for four years and um if you want to know why i'm not there anymore i did a video on that i will put it in the description below so that you know why i left my job for four years but i was not educated about things i just knew that i had these benefits with my job and that you know my family is covered which is great you know that they offer that and we have that that comes out of our check this we're not really thinking about it it's just something that we know that's coming out it's been taken care of right okay so when you leave that job this is a situation that you know i'm currently in you leave that job for any reason that policy is it's closed you no longer have that so now you're stuck with i don't have benefits i don't have insurance i don't have this that that that's when we have to start to think out of the box because in that meantime that we don't have that insurance anything can happen to us anything can happen to us while we're traveling we don't have that so now it's time to think outside of the box when it comes to those benefits and not only rely on having life insurance through your job because nine times out of ten you may not retire at that job more than likely we're going to elevate we're going to move to different jobs we're going to want to do this and that and we're going to put our hands in different things eventually so it's very important to start thinking now okay i need to get these policies and start you know um creating that this this structure to um 
have policies outside of my employer because anything could happen and I know that I will still be okay while I'm still young and healthy these policies is already effective and you will have that amount coming out whether you lose your job or not you're still covered if something were to happen to you so we really need to um, make sure that we're thinking outside of the box because I was not I was in a situation where I'm like wow now I don't have any coverage um, whatsoever if something were happening to me or my kids because it was all invested into my employer and I'm young so anything can happen with your job or you know you transition or whatever and then that ends that policy so what I've been doing is I've been looking for part-time work and I did um find this uh, well this company reached out to me um you know with information about life insurance so i started to um i started with this company it's called primerica financial um and they educate you a lot a lot about things you didn't know and everything that they were saying pretty much applied to me and the situation that i was going through and i'm like wow this is my exact um situation right now and the reason why i don't have benefits life insurance any of that so i was like wow this is a lot of education that you know we as working people need to know and especially with the way that things are going now like we really have to make sure that we're protecting our loved ones and we're investing in ourselves in the best way um so the things that i've researched so far um about life insurance and how important it is to have these things is you just don't know and I know we think, oh, you know, if we get a policy outside of our employer because you get those discounts, so it's basically free, right? And it's, you know, it's beneficial. You can afford it. Of course, you want to make sure that you can afford it. But honestly, what you could pay for life insurance is basically more than your cable bill. It's more than your cable bill. When I did the numbers, I looked down and I'm like, wow, like my cable bill is literally $150. If I could pay that for cable, Wi-Fi, all of that, why can't I invest, invest under $100 for life insurance for me and my family, whether I'm at whatever job I decide I want? So we really need to make sure that we're protecting our families and making sure that we have something in place. And if you do already have a policy with your job and you know you're very confident that you're going to be there, also have someone else like actually get a copy of your policy and have it reviewed just to make sure because a lot of things we don't read the fine print in our policies. And what we find out later is that yes, we're paying this amount, but in about 10 more years or so, it's going to really jump up into an amount that we're going to be required to play, pay that we're, we can't afford and we're not told that in the beginning we're thinking okay yes this is cool now because yeah we're, we're young we're not thinking about it however you definitely need to um get a second opinion compare policies to make sure that you are because this is something you're investing in for when you pass away and you're expecting a certain amount of money to go to your children and your family and you come to find out that most of that is going to um the company and not your family because of a certain type of plan that you have that you didn't realize um the premium was gonna just skyrocket in 10 years or so so it's very very important to make sure that you understand your policy and if you do have the best policy then great keep your policy but you're educated you know exactly how much it's going to be giving things like this is very very important um i see too many um situations where we as a people have to reach out um create the gofundmes and you know ask for help to bury our loved ones and it's so hard to do and a lot of times it's still not enough because what you get is normally just to bury them there's you know no money that you can leave for the children or anything like that because you know everyone's donating to you 
don't do that to yourself don't do that to your family don't have your family to where they can't grieve in peace because they're having to you know beg for money to be able to bury you and take care of your children if you have children that you're leaving behind or anyone so it's very very important guys and i can't stress it enough um you know if you are considering and you know that you need life insurance and you want to speak to someone um i am working on getting my financial license so that i can be a voice and also help people that need guidance and need someone to help them you know understand what it means to have life insurance and the importance of it and how you can afford literally two dollars a day when you think about it investing in yourself to make sure that your family is protected when that time does come and what and now is the time to do it while we're healthy go ahead and get those good rates and have that locked in and one thing that i do um i want to mention um with Primerica that I when I compare with other life insurance companies what I like about Primerica is if you have more than one kid you still will get you'll get 20,000 or so maybe um, for each child and then but you only pay for one so even if you have four children they're each going to get 20,000 but you're only going to pay for as if you have one child so that right there was enough for me because again it's saving me money and my both my children are covered at the price of one so if you guys want more information about that i'm going to put my email in the description box um because as i'm learning and you guys may know someone that needs this or if you know someone that's retiring and they need their policies looked at and they want to make sure that they are going to get um what they're investing in to be able to retire send me an email we can get some information we can set up an appointment we can have someone whether it's me or um my manager or anyone else in the company they can review your policy and give you a quote no personal information is needed um as far as like social security numbers or none of that it's just a generator to give you a quote by answering like three simple questions things like that very simple um but please y'all let's start investing in ourselves and making sure that we have those policies and thinking outside of the box if we're with a job that we already know that we're not really happy with and it's possible that we may be leaving and things like that and you're gonna have that that gap where something can possibly happen and you're not covered um so y'all let me know um this is a very serious topic i will be um you know making more videos about this because i do want to spread the the word more and say hey let's stop saying we don't have time because we make sure we pay our cable bill on time and all those other bills is not a necessity to us we just something that we want we need to invest in ourselves and make sure we're covering and protecting our families and letting them be able to grieve in peace and know that things are taken care of and left for them to take care of those things um so i want to say thank you guys for watching i'm going to put some information in the description box if you have questions about anything comment below be sure to um hit that like button and also subscribe and hit that notification button so you can stay in tune when i drop more content Peace and love to you all and have a great weekend. Bye.